Okay, today we are going to go over some uh, other features regarding uh, Tinkercad. For instance, you know, we go back to our project, okay, which I called it Intro to LED. Okay, back to the project here in the dashboard, you are going to see all your design you did. Okay, uh, this is our design. This is our project. I uh, Last time I called it LED. Today I changed it. Okay, how to change the project name? Uh, it says uh, very straightforward. You click on it, you go back to the uh, project here. See this uh, gear? Click on it, properties, you can put the name of it. Okay, there we go. Now, another thing is uh, description. You can add description. So, you know, this is what I called it. Now, um, Regarding this here, this is my experiment I did. It's my project. So let's say now I want to share it with someone else. Basically, it's easy. You know, you, you want to, maybe it is better sometimes to make it public. Okay. This is the name of it. You can put some descriptions. Okay. Um, this is uh, the tag because some people, it's easier to find them, you know, using the tag. How to add the tag, just put here, let's say, uh, Arduino, let's say, okay, you put Arduino, okay, simulation, and that's it, I have it here, you know, you enter and it will be there, uh, privacy, you, uh, you might do it, you might be uh, willing to do it publicly, so people can uh, find it, once you are done from all of these, you save your changes, and then you say what, uh, tinker this, okay, you can tinker that, Either you click on it or I want to just keep my um, page, you know, handy. Okay. Um, and you will get, uh, it will take you to your experiment where you have uh, your experiment ready. Uh, go to share and then invite people. This is your experiment over here. Okay. There we go. Copy. And then send it to uh, email it to wh whomever you want. Okay, another feature we have to think of uh, is uh, the stuff here. You know, okay, this is wh what's this? This is the our components. So let's take a look at this. This is an orange LED. Let's say I want to make it a green. Okay, if you go back to the components, it's, it says a green. Or let's say I want to add, you know, another LED. So back to the circuit. Uh, let's say I need this LED. Okay. It is red. I go back to my components. You are going to see it here. And the advantage of this, you can download this as Excel sheet, uh, CSV, which you can open it using Excel sheet or any other uh, software like Notepad. And it will show you the list here. You can print it out and uh, go get the part. And this is also very very handsome you know very i mean i'm sorry very uh, helpful um with no troublesome okay now back to this here okay i don't want this delete i'm done i'm done okay regarding uh, our component let's say i want to get more you know familiar with these you can click on this you know it can show you the details okay what's an led what's a push button okay so you should not be worried about uh so many searches over the internet you can see stuff here okay very good uh, regarding all okay this is uh, up to you let's say now i put leds search is good enough for me okay another thing we have to uh, consider guys uh, another question is uh, the code please okay because uh, some people are getting lost with the code the code of the Arduino is here. You know, you click on this, it will take you to the code. Okay, the code is not uh, hard coded. I can change certain parameters, certain stuff. Uh, and that's what we are going to show later on. Okay, you have a library, you have so many stuff in it. Okay, uh, this is the code. I can change things like here, I can make this different number. See this, this here, let's say nine. I want to put this 10, pin mode. So if I run this, okay.
it's not giving me error. But where's the problem? If I am using uh, a programmed pin that does not keep giving me, you know, a certain signal uh, based on my controller communication, I will be in trouble. So I can change code here, okay? I can change code here. So I made basically what I did here, later on we'll discuss it. I made pin nine, I made it, uh, pin nine, uh, I made it, uh, I'm sorry, I changed it to 10. That means I'm making now pin number 10 as an output, which is um, this one here, I'm making it an output, okay? Later on we'll go into the, the details of Arduino. But here we are just trying to be familiar with the components, you know, and everything around us, okay? So just don't be worried about uh, programming and uh, wiring stuff, okay? And uh, export. Okay, we are done from share. Export, here you can export your uh, stuff to uh, desktop and later on you can, you know, use it for, uh, for your experiment. Uh, so this will help you in your uh, Arduino stuff. That's if, if you are very uh, interested about uh, breadboard and schematic. So this is it for uh, this session. Uh, later on, uh, we can discuss uh, some experiments and understanding the code of our uh, nice experiment here, uh, fading LED. Many thanks, take care.